Hi guys, um, it's going to be an update quick video um, just showing off the new features and a first look at Photoshop CS6. Um, I've been really excited for this to come out. I've only got the beta at the moment, um, but I just thought I'll show you some really good features that are, are new to Photoshop and hopefully can help you a lot out in the future. Um, I will be purchasing this at some point, but as I've just got the beta, I thought I'd just I'll show you what's on there. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the interface itself. As you can tell, it looks a lot better. I love the colour, uh, better than the old Photoshop. Um, if we also go to Edit, because uh, you might not be able to find it, you need to look for Preferences. You see this little arrow at the bottom. If you click that, you can go further down. And there's some stupid noises going on in my ceiling. But still, click Preferences and then go to Interface. Uh, I apologise for the way I'm talking. I can't talk properly because I've just had new piercings in my lip. So my lip is kind of swollen. Uh, but anyway, this opens up. And here is where you can change the colours. Uh, now I'm just going to... Pop it on, will it change? There we go. As you can see, oh, actually, I quite like that one. Uh, I'll just stick with this one just for now, and then you can go back to the original also. Uh, but I'll stick to this. So that's one of the features I love. Let's press OK. Um, another one is the Content Aware Move Tool, <coughs> which Photoshop has actually brought out really really good I'll show you what you do all you do is click this button here uh, when you first get this I think it comes up with the the it's either the spot healing brush tool or the healing brush tool one of them two uh, but if you just keep your finger on it it will bring up this little menu and then you just click content aware uh, now for some reason it's just disappeared for what I wanted to do but it doesn't matter just bought this photo up now, what, what, say that you've got something on your picture and you want to move it. This is how good Photoshop I've moved moved on to. This is what you can do. Sometimes it doesn't work, uh, but it's good to try it out. So if you keep your finger on your button and you just draw around the subject that you want to move. Now, this is just going to be a quick tutorial. So I'm trying to be as quick as I can. Just go around that shadow. Around there, around there. And then when you join it back up, it should select the whole thing. Now when it's done that, all you need to do is drag it from wherever you want to go. So, like I said, sometimes it doesn't work properly, but say I'll just drag it, you know, just a little bit, a little bit over. And if you let go, yeah, what it does, it starts analysing, and then it hopefully jumps like that. And that's what I love uh, about this feature, is you can just move things around. Sometimes it doesn't work, but still. And if I just press Control D for deselect, see, it's not done a bad job. There is a little hump in the grass at the back there, but, you know, you can sort that out. So that's the second feature. Now, with the third, it's exactly the same, but what I thought would be a good idea to show is when you've flattened your image, when you've actually edited your image, you flattened it, you watermarked it, but then you want to change your watermark over, and you know you've done it by accident. What I want to show, let me just get rid of that one. Is I've already selected my watermark up here. Now it's going to be different with mine because my watermark is just text, and I can't draw around every single bit of text, so it's going to be hard. I just thought I'll put this up for an example. Um, if you add, say, a logo and it's, it was in a square, then it's easy. You can just draw around that square and simple as. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, after you've drawn over it, I'm going to move it so I want it down at this bottom corner. Now, what will happen is it's going to, the content aware is going to actually help out where the cloud is, that top bit, and fill that in the best it can. But the bottom where I've actually moved it, it won't do anything because that's what I'm saying. It's going to be harder for me because I've just got text. So I let go there. 
and let it analyze and you will see the bottom like I said the bottom left won't do anything but the bottom uh, the top left should change and there we go you, you know you cannot tell any difference at all that you've moved it <laughs> except from that but it will work uh, so I just thought I'd show that off too um, another thing is well let me just open up another that another picture <clears throat> I love how you've got this mini bridge at the bottom you did have this already on CS5 but I think you had to open it up and as soon as I got CS6 it was already there at the bottom um, let me just go to my desktop if I can figure out how to do it <coughs> and Google desktop and just get this photo up wherever it is yeah I just took this off but I'm gonna put it back up again because this is the other feature I like about Photoshop CS6 right when you get your photo up there's a new one called let me just have a look at my notes to see where it was I think it was filter yeah and then oil paint now what I'll just try this out it should pop up on a new screen like this and there we go I think it, it looks stunning Um I actually quite like it like that let me just move some of these bars up um, shine scale scale Let's bring it up a bit more make it more of a bit of a painting press OK and what you can do with this is you can also on your layer is add a layer mask could not complete request because of the program error excuse me oh because it's locked I think so let's put a layer mask on it <coughs> click on your layer mask um, change that to black um, make sure you have your paintbrush tool um, just make that bigger and what you can do is ah it's gone wrong because I've picked black instead of white I'm just change that over to white and is that even working for some reason it's not working I've done something wrong and I don't know what I've done wrong why is it doing this to me anyway you get my drift I'm um, sorry about that for some reason while I was making this video my head has just gone totally conquers um, but if you know how to use layer masks you usually just get your different colour, uh, go over it, and it should bring out what the previous picture was. Oh, no, not. I know what I've done wrong. Right, let me just delete that mask, layer mask, um, and take the effect off. So I press step backwards. Step backwards, step backwards. You know what? Get rid of it. And I'll upload it again. I'm trying not to make this video as long, but, you know, if it has to be, it has to be. Right, here we go. Let's do it again. It wasn't a layer mask that we needed to do. What it is, is we need to duplicate that layer. So we have two and on this layer this is where we go to your filter oil paint leave it the way it is okay and then what we need to do is to go to your eraser tool hopefully nope now this is where you got your ma layer mask i'm getting really confused here <clears throat> I just hope that you're, you're following me on every bit. Now, if I go to the black bit, does this work? Let's go point, you might be the white bit. There we go. And you brush over the tree. 
Alright, I'll bring out the tree again. And I just think it's a lovely effect. So you got the tree there and you know, in its it's in, in its own quality and then all around you've got the paint effect. I'll just zoom that in. And you see what I mean. And you can make some stunning photos out of it. So that's another feature. Um we did that one. Let's get rid of that. The next one was um if you're a photographer you like to get, you know, your horizon at the right level. Um I got this picture obviously because it's totally on a diagonal. For this feature what I like is the new crop tool. Now if you go to the crop tool um, which is that one, which is the fifth one down. On the old, I'll, I'll just let me just pick a crop to a uh, crop, and I'll show you what I mean. On this new Photoshop, um, it actually you move the, you moving the photo and not the crop itself. So if I try and drag and drop, uh, drag and move, see I'm moving the photo. And also if I rotate. I'm moving, rotating the photo, which I think is just a lot better. You can go back to the classic style if you click this little cog tool at the top and use the cl click use classic mode. And you can see what I mean. What it used to be like if I move it, I mean I'm, I'm actually rotating the the crop. Um, and also when you're moving it, you're moving the crop. Um, another thing I like about this is. The straighten, I think what's it called, the straighten, the image drawing, not that, it's the straighten line. So if I click that, what you do is click once there, drag, and let go when you need to. So let's do my horizontal, um, horizon line, sorry. And it should do it for you. Am I still in classic mode? I am. Let's take classic mode off. And it moves for you. And uh, you just double click. Uh, actually, I'm just going to move that down a bit more. Move it up to this, so to the horizon line. Double click, and there's your photo. Except for that white bit there, which I just realised. But you get my drift. <coughs> you just move it around. But that's another great tool. For some reason, it keeps going wrong for me today. But yeah, um, let's go to the next one. The next one, what we on? We're on 30 minutes already. Bloody hell. Let's try and get under 15. We'll do this quick. Next one is just a picture of my football team. You know, you can comment whatever you want saying you support another team. I don't really care. Um, but for this, we're going to show you the new tilt shift effect. Now, on the older ones, you had to actually do it yourself uh, for here. But they have actually put in on the filter. If you go to blur and go to tilt shift. It should come up the tilt shift effect, and the the good design here. You can move your lines from where you want it to be. Uh, your feathering, you can move your feathering as well. So let's just move that up there a bit. Move that one down there. Actually, move this down here a bit. There we go. And in the center, you got this little nice little dial. It's a new feature. Is you can actually bump it up for how much you know blur you want. Um, but we don't want that much. I'll just leave it as that. And when you're done, just press OK. And there you go, you've got your tilt shift effect. Uh, that's another feature. And my last one, and let's try and make this under 15 minutes, is just very quickly, let's get rid of that, is your timeline at the bottom. Yes, Photoshop CS6 now has video. And as a video person myself, as well as uh, as well as a photographer, I loved making my videos. This is going to be a great new feature. I've not actually tried it out yet. I just thought I'd let you guys know that you can do video in Photoshop 6. I don't think it'll be in much depth as in Sony Vegas <clears throat> and so much of that. But, you know, I don't know myself. I've not tried it. And also, uh, it's supposed to be like After Effects and Adobe Premiere and so on and so, so forth. Uh, I would 
suggest to go and check out some more videos on the actual video style of Photoshop CS6 uh, so you can you know figure out it yourself or I might do a video in the future of actually uh, doing a video on CS6 and you know help you guys out so that is my first look and my uh, first look at the new features of CS6 and I hope you enjoy please comment below like this video and also subscribe would be a great help um, I will also put some links into my friends YouTube channels and to our photography group on Facebook and it'd be great for you lot to come along and join in the fun you know where uh, we do a lot of things every week I was actually getting under 15 but it looks like we'll be getting under 16 so that is basically it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed Sorry for all the mistakes, but you know, I got there in the end. Uh, keep shooting, have a good one, and I'll see you in my next video. See you in a bit, guys.